Steps towards a circular fashion industry. Nature of the problem. The fashion industry has a business model based on take, make, waste. This linear approach is causing irreparable damage to the planet. Take. With the increasing demand of a global population growth and pressing consumption patterns, global fiber production is predicted to grow up to 100 million tons by 2020. Both natural and synthetic fibers cause high environmental pressure in terms of land use, climate change, pollution, habitat loss, and water scarcity. For example, 24% of the global sales of insecticide is destined to cotton farming. Make. Let's use a simple cotton t-shirt as an example of how polluting is the process of making garments. At the farm, a huge amount of water is required to make the cotton grow. Then it is spun into yarn using energy, and the cut, make, trim phase to produce the final product requires the use of hazardous chemicals. The final garments are then packed, often in plastic, and shipped across the world. Waste. Consumption of apparel shows no sign of slowing down and consequently the amount of waste will continue to rise. European citizens throw away 5.8 million tons of textiles per year, with only 25% sent to recycle. Problem quantification. Because of this linear approach and its intensive resource-consuming value chain, fashion is considered to be one of the most polluting industries. The production of textile fibers uses 20 billion pounds of chemicals annually. The chemical waste generated from these processes is not always discharged according to proper legislative measures, causing water pollution worldwide. The average water footprint of one cotton t-shirt is about 2,500 liters, meaning that to make a single t-shirt, 30 bathtubs of water are needed. The purchase and use of clothing contributes about 3% to global CO2 emissions, or over 850 million tons of CO2 a year. Circular Practices Tackling the Linear Paradigm Some industry leaders have already started to revolutionize the world of fashion, recognizing the need to replace the linear model with a circular one, where raw materials are fed back into the system once they reach their end of life. Apart from the pressing environmental concerns, there is growing evidence that a comprehensive circular model would lead to more efficient and cost-effective business operations based on a never-ending production cycle. Design. Studies show that around 80% of the industry's environmental impact depends on poor decisions made in the design phase. Innovative approaches include measuring the specific environmental impacts of different materials used, garments designed to be 100% biodegradable, designed for longevity to extend the life expectancy of clothing. Use. Fashion brands are currently working to inform their customers on how to extend the lifespan of garments. Hang tags and labels are increasingly emphasizing best practices to maximize the care of products. Also, a garment designed to be multifunctional will likely have a longer lifespan as the user will be motivated to wear it in several ways, hence dodging momentary fashion trends. Reverse Cycles Brands and retailers are progressively improving remanufacturing processes. Supported by the development of modern technologies and know-how, used clothes are processed so that the raw materials are taken and reused with a new purpose. In the case of a used cotton t-shirt, the fiber is shredded, spun, and knitted again to provide recycled cotton. Today, new garments can be produced by using merely recycled fibers, as attested by certifications that inform about percent of recycled content of a garment. Business and Policy Advice Recommendations to Business Assessing material-related aspects and understanding environmental impacts will enable businesses to develop a roadmap and action plan, setting detailed and realistic KPIs and targets for both the short and long term. Some tips for success. Design products with recovery in mind. Design products using less and without wasting resources. Aim to source material through regenerative loops rather than linear flows. Develop a revenue model that protects value up and down the chain. Get your customers to cooperate with your circular economic mission and targets. Engage, learn and cooperate with the industry to develop and improve sector-wide circular models. Pilot a small circular project before scaling it up. 
recommendations to consumers. Consumers also play a crucial role in the transition to a circular fashion industry. New consumption practices could involve trying to repair your garments instead of throwing them away when these repairs are easy to do with just a needle and thread, bringing old garments to Goodwill or charity shops or take them to textile recycling bins so they can be reused or recycled, buying garments that really fit your style instead of seasonal trends in order to wear and enjoy them longer.